I, I notice you have your black cape on with yes. your black and or your gold and the uh, crimson uh, and the, the, glasses. And the glasses. Yeah, you know, and I've been going around waving my wand and going Expelleramus. And stuff like the that. last time uh, we were down in. By the way, if I was a real wizard, you'd be dead. Right Thank now. you very much. Uh -oh. Last time we were in uh, Orlando, they had just opened up uh, the Harry Potter land. Isn't over. that something? So amazing. We did not go over. Oh, no. We did not go over. But coming back on the plane, there were too many adults dressed as Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of creepy. I sit well, next yeah. to a, an adult guy dressed as Harry Potter. Well, you know what's really interesting is like it's it's in 3D as well, and I highly recommend the 3D. It, in this, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's not worth it. But they give you compliment like Harry Potter. They're shaped like Harry Potter's glasses. The 3D oh, no glasses, way. and you get to keep them. Yeah, and you get to keep them. So that oh. I mean that that was really cool. I mean, you're everyone's standing around their hair. Maybe it was just me. <laughs> yeah. No, that is really cool. Did everybody <laughs> yeah. have lightning Snip bolts on their on. forehead? Uh, no, but I kind of <laughs> was like scratching my you know my pen <laughs> in there. And, and, oh, I accidentally wrote on my forehead in the shape of a you know, oh, lightning, a lightning bolt. bolt. So great. Is uh, is the movie as big as all the hype? Yeah, I mean, first of all, this is. John, it, it, uh, ten years of my life. I mean, I've read the mm -hmm. books. You, I were, you were actually excited about. I this. am so jacked for this movie. You were beaming. I want to see it again because you know it is so emotional. The first part one was kind of slow moving, but it was still an amazing movie. Are but we going to go the, through all seven parts here? Yeah, I, I thought so. We don't have time. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, the final part okay. is it's honestly it's just like the, it's a it's a war. It is the it, the fight at Hogwarts. It just amazing special effects. I was watching when they escaped from the the, um, the prison or the jail, or not the prison, the, the bank that they're escaping from on the back of a dragon. And I was watching it and I was thinking how far technology has come along, how great it looks. Even since the first movie. Yeah, e even since the first movie. It, it, it really is. It, it's kind of emotional too because I did tear up. I did tear up. Does it wrap up the complete sorry. series? Is, yeah, there, is I mean, there a definite ending, or did they yeah, oh, there's a definite yeah. ending. Okay. Major characters die in this movie, oh, and, wow. and so then of course many. they end just like in the book, 16 years later, mm -hmm. where you know we see who you know what's going on and, and so forth. And it, it's very emotional, very sad. And it, uh, does it follow true to the book? Yeah, it does. It does. Right. And it, it, so if you've read the book, you've seen the movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But when it, when I read the book, it was I started reading the final book at night. And it was turning page after page. And next mm -hmm. thing I know, I finished the book and it was morning. I mean, it was one stop complete. And the movie, the excitement of that war, my first thought was they're never going to be able to capture that. And they did a really good job of that. I mean, it's really something. I want to see how big of a fan you really are. I'm going to read off. These right. are either hideous skin conditions or Harry Potter <laughs> characters. Okay. Okay, because all the names just yeah. sound weird. So oh. these yeah, are Yeah, the really names bad. are weird. Okay, right. uh, Marvolo Gaunt. Is that a hideous skin condition or a Harry Potter character? Sounds like that's a skin Harry, condition. No, that's Harry no, Potter. That's uh, Lord Voldemort's relative of some sort. Voldemort Mort's grandfather. There you ah, go. Okay. Uh, Muckle Wells. Muckle Wells. Is that a hideous skin condition or a Harry Potter I character? I think I actually have a slight case of It's Muggle a genetic Wells. disease yeah. causing hives that can lead to hearing loss. <laughs> I get that every time I'm around you, John. And kidney, <laughs> kidney damage. Uh, Vinius Lakes. Vinius Lakes. Phineas? Venius Lakes. Venius. Hideous skin condition or Harry Potter character? It sounds like it's a snake. It's, I, I don't think so. Blue-green patches around the lips, <laughs> ears, and face caused by sun exposure. Um, bowl. Bowl. B-O-L-E. Bowl. Is that a Harry Potter character or a hideous skin condition? That sounds like a hideous, a, skin, a hideous skin, skin condition. No Harry Potter character. One of the beaters on the slide... They're in Slytherin? Quidditch Slytherin. team. Quidditch. Quidditch team, yes. Yeah. 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 You know what's interesting, too, is like you have major people. Like Emma Thompson is you know, mm -hmm. a professor. She's in this movie maybe eight seconds. I mean, it's a, That's you know, it. Yeah, I mean, there's so, yeah, so many big characters. Gary Oldman, you know, she had a little fun. It's just a very small amount of time that they're in this So movie. I'm kind of confused when uh, you called on the phone, Chuck. You said, I'm coming in to talk about the biggest movie of the weekend, the yeah. summer blockbuster, and you have not talked about Winnie the Pooh. Oh, well, let me tell you something. <laughs> Winnie, the Winnie, Pooh the, Pooh Winnie the Pooh is going to be the best movie Winnie, ever. Winnie the Pooh is awesome and who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh and now if you're thinking as an adult and mind you this is an all new Winnie the Pooh movie okay and it's done in the original what are you laughing at the, I freaked the original, out when I saw the yeah. commercial no no this. you have to understand Pooh is a part of uh, most people's childhood it's part of my childhood it's part mm -hmm. of all yeah, yeah. exactly so as an adult when you're watching it Especially if you like, if you have a child with you. To me, I just grabbed a kid and brought right, him into the right. theater. It wasn't your own. <laughs> but it wasn't my own. I mean, right, you know, right, yeah, right, I'm right, sure right. I got into some legal troubles. Does, over the, it. does, the, animation, does yeah. the animation look like the Winnie the Pooh animation? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's done hand drawn. Oh. But it's like you're introducing a new generation to Winnie the Pooh. This movie is adorable and uh, and it's great. And and the one thing is, is it's like I 
think an hour and five minutes long or something. Well, it has like to that. be short. Yeah, it is short, but it's, it, they didn't stretch it out, and you know, it's just great to see everybody. What will be number one in the box office this weekend? Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's or a Harry tough Potter. one. Let me okay. think about this. Winnie okay. the Pooh. I think or Harry Winnie Potter. the Pooh. I, I, I would no, guess no, Harry Potter, Potter has already set uh, worldwide records for its yeah. midnight screening. Every midnight screening nationwide was sold out. They literally had 1201, 1202, 1203. People are going to go see Harry Potter over and over again. I mean, it's the end of a 10 year. Era for I got us. you. Maria, are you going this weekend? You'll yes, I am. I'm going on Twitter. Sunday with my family. We're going to watch yeah. the first movie, the part one, and right. then we're going to go. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I wish I would have done that. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to do that, but that's, uh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Very cool. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Uh, great seeing you. Have a good weekend. Excellent. You too. All right. We'll see you at the movie theater, and uh, we'll go see uh, the uh, the Harry Potter movie. And Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh, too. And Tigger, too. Uh, you can check out <laughs> Chuck's website. We'll put a link off of our website this morning. Uh, your website is? TheMovieGuy.com. And we'll put a link off of QBird.com. We'll also go back live to the North Shore. Dave is over there with our intern, Bubba 2.0. And uh, we'll talk to those two coming up here in just a couple of minutes as we get ready for American Idol on Q92.9.